Hello everybody and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. So let's see what level 3 has to offer. Fishhooks Park. Don't remember this music too. Now eventually we will get more weapons to use besides the jellyfish net, but in the meantime, it's still pretty useful. So, here's a fun fact about Spongebob. So, apparently, the Krusty Krab was inspired by a real place in Maine. It's called the Islesford Dock Restaurant, and it was the inspiration behind the Krusty Krab. Steven Herrenberg spent summers working as a fry cook in the Maine restaurant. That's pretty cool. One thing I will say is that I don't understand why Barnacle Boy won't just sign the autograph for Spongebob. I mean, it literally only takes like 5 seconds at the most. But no, he has to send Spongebob on an adventure to fulfill his wants. So he's basically using Spongebob to get what he wants. Because he knows that when it comes to Spongebob, he will go above and beyond to please everybody that he loves. And we have giant clams! So, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but what you have to do is wait for them to close before you jump on them, otherwise they will hurt you. Unfortunately, at that moment in time, I wasn't patient enough and I just wanted to move ahead quickly, which unfortunately was detrimental. Now, this doesn't always happen, but I like to try my best to keep the maximum amount of jellyfish that I can carry at a time. But sometimes there's going to be moments where there won't be very many jellyfish that go by. So, you have to make do with what you have. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that these are the exact same hooks in the episode Hooky, which I don't know why Spongebob would risk playing on them again after they pretty much ripped his clothes off. But hey, to each their own. Just like Patrick said, you jump off before it gets too high. And being that this is, in fact, a Spongebob game, there are going to be references to the show. If you ride the fish hooks here, SpongeBob will eventually fall off on his own if you don't jump off. So make sure you find somewhere to land. So here's another SpongeBob fact Mr. Krabs is voiced by the corrupt prison guard in the Shawshank Redemption. You might also know Clancy Brown as the Krugan in Highlander. So these yellow creatures are a pain to deal with because they attack you when you least expect them to. And they're a little tough to kill because sometimes when you try to aim at them, they have to be right in front of you. But if you get lucky and they swim under you, just butt bounce them and they will go away. So this level is fairly short. Now to find the bread. 
but where? I know! Bikini Bottom has loads of bread! You could try going to the Krusty Krab. They might have some there. Okay, so before I look at level 4, let's check out Six Clams Adventureland. We have a giant ferris wheel. And there's balloons around here too. And by the way, don't worry if you don't get all of the tokens right away. They will let you come back and get the rest of them. And you can try as many times as you want, too. And when you finish, it'll take you to that store. But I want to get all the tokens first before I buy anything. Alright, let's try and get the rest of these tokens. Or at least I think they're tokens. I, I have no idea what they're supposed to be, but I'm gonna call them tokens. Maybe they're the equivalent of festival tickets. They're so close together, so it's kind of hard to jump in the right angle. If you happen to die in any of the six claims levels, you won't lose any lives. Okay, so I got all of the tokens. Let's buy some stuff. I'm not sure exactly what that is. It might be an action figure of some sort, but it's only five tickets, so I'll buy it. And we have a sandwich, which costs eight. And a cupcake. And that's all I can afford for right now. Alright, last level of Chapter 1. Downtown Bikini Bottom. And boy, is this level hard. You'll understand why in a second. So now we have these steam vents, and if you fall into one, you'll die. If you get hit by one of those boats driving around, you'll get hurt. There's also a ton of those annoying creatures, which are really annoying to deal with, as I've stated already. Gosh dang it. This is why this level is tricky. There are so many enemies in really tricky places. I don't know how 
am I gonna do with all this? And those boats are dangerous too. And if you don't kill them, they will follow you around and hurt you anyway. So it's either kill them or take damage. Oh crap. again. So if you die, everything respawns, including the extra lives. So realistically, if you know exactly where all of the extra lives are, you never have to worry about losing any. That is, if you want to keep risking to get them. jellyfish right now. There's nothing to see here. I don't know why I committed suicide, but I have plenty more lives. God dang it. That time it was an accident. Get out of here in one piece. I don't know why I'm trying to go out of my way to collect the spatulas. It might just be a habit. Gaming OCD at its finest. And this is exactly what I meant when I said the difficulty does ramp up. But it ramps up so quickly, so unlike normal games, this game has no mercy. At least when it comes to 100% completion. I just wanted to grab that extra life, by the way. Boss hints from Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's Superhero Handbook. So, our first boss is the Mother Jellyfish. Be very, very careful around the very rare Mother Jellyfish. Try to scare it away by throwing whatever you can at it. Perhaps the monster is scared of jellyfish? So this is the furthest that I've gotten in this game as a kid. I don't know if I just got stuck or if I just got bored and lost interest. And I remember this music too. 
So you essentially have to launch the smaller jellyfish at the mother. Which, it doesn't make any sense at all, because why would a mother jellyfish be scared of their own offspring? I'm trying to at least keep one spatula on me at all times. But unfortunately that didn't work out this time. But I do have plenty of lives. Luckily she only has three hit points left, so we're almost done here. I'm so grateful for the spatulas responding when you come back. Come on, let's finish her off. And there we go. So there's not much else to do here. There's the bread. I promise I didn't press the forward button. It just so happens that SpongeBob doesn't have any dialogue here. There's Mermaid Man and Barker Boy taking the nap. Wake up! I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. Back already? That is definitely a sandwich fit for a superhero. Ah, I'm gonna need to think of something to test your superhero potential <laughs> and keep busy. Look, M.M. is not in great superhero condition at the moment, and he could really do with some pampering, uh, some kelp cream and a facial. <laughs> not for me, you understand. I'm on my way. Hey, Barnacle Boy, you could, oh, I don't know, just sign the autograph and be done with it. Just saying. Anyways, that will be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one where we check out Chapter 2. Bye!